Number 73. The hardness of water, the hardness count, is usually expressed in parts per million by mass of CaCO3, which is calcium carbonate, which is equivalent to milligrams of calcium carbonate per liters of water. What is the molar concentration of Ca2 plus ions in a water sample with a hardness count of 175 milligrams of calcium carbonate per liter? Okay, so let's just look back at the first sentence. Uh, there's no numbers <laughs> at all, right? It literally is just like a definition sentence. It gives me no context for what I'm doing in this equation. And that's how sometimes chemistry is hard. They love throwing like extra, you know, sentences out at you that you don't even have to worry about. I'm only looking for the second sentence. It's saying, what is the molar concentration of Ca2 plus ions? That's the question. With the hardness count of 175 milligrams, right? So it seems here that I have to start off with that hardness count, they told me that it was 175 milligrams of CaCO3, and this is all over liter. And they want us to go from that to molar concentration. Okay, what is a molar concentration? Molar concentration is a fancy way for just saying Molarity, right? So in this case, molarity, we've done tons of questions dealing with what molarity is, right? Molarity is just moles divided by liters. So that's what they're looking for. We want to go to mole of Ca2 plus divided by liter. Now this looks a little bit more, you know, doable. Let's see if I got it at all. I Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. This is basically what the question's asking for. Now, looky here, right? The numerators change. The units in the numerator change. I have to go from milligrams of calcium carbonate to just moles of the calcium. But the denominator stays exactly the same. So I don't even care about doing anything to the denominator. So... What I'm going to do, basically, because since this is over 1, the 1 liter that I started with is going to be 1 liter at the end. So all I have to do, if I just really want to break this down, all I have to do is just convert 175 milligrams into, oh, well, milligrams of CaCO3 into moles of Ca2+. Now, if you notice that there are two different things, right? This is the whole compound, calcium carbonate, and I just want to get to calcium. When you see that you want to convert from one thing to another, you know, thing that's not the same, you have to go through moles. You have to, have to, have to go through moles. So that's the key here. I have to get this milligram of calcium carbonate into moles of calcium carbonate. But we've done tons of conversions, right? So let's see. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert out the milligrams into grams, right? Because I know that I can go from grams of something to moles of something. This is using the periodic table which we've done tons of problems already, right? If you guys are on the playlist. But the first thing is I just want to get it out of milligrams. So just remember, guys, going from milligram to gram, all you have to do is just divide by 1,000, right? We're not, we don't have to do dimensional analysis for this anymore, right? Because we know the, the, the quick tricks. So I'm just going to take this 175 and just divide by 1,000. And now I have 0.175 grams of CaCO3. Now I'm going to use my dimensional analysis to convert to moles, right? That should be good practice. So I'm going to just multiply by a ratio. Put the unit that you don't want on the opposite side, so that goes on the bottom, and put the unit that you want on the top. 
Now I can't go directly to here because I first have to get to moles of CaCO3 first. Then I can convert from moles to moles. Now when we're using that periodic table, remember you always have one mole of your substance, which is the calcium carbonate. The number that goes on the bottom is the mass that you're going to find on the periodic table. So I have one calcium, which is roughly 40. I have one carbon, and then I have three oxygens. So this brings me to a mass of about 100. Specifically, I have 100.09, which I will just keep. And now the unit that I don't want goes away. The number doesn't go away, but the units go away. But now since I'm not at the unit that I want, I still want to go to moles of the calcium, I have to make another ratio. So I'm going to multiply by another ratio and kind of do the same thing that I did before. I don't want this unit anymore, so that goes on the bottom. And now since I'm in moles, I can go to moles of another entity. In this case, it's just the calcium. Okay. Now, what are the numbers that go here? This we're doing the ratio of the individual compound. Now, we can assume that how many total CaCO3s do you see here? I just have one, right? I have one total compound. So I'm going to say I have one mole of that. Remember, mole is just a unit for quantity. Now, in this one total compound, how many calciums do you have? Oh, I only have one calcium. That's what you're figuring out. So out of one whole total calcium carbonate compound, I have one calcium. It does not matter that it's a two plus. Two plus just means that it lost two electrons, but that has nothing to do with what the element is. So for every one compound, which is the one right here, I have one calcium which will be the one up top here. And now these units cancel. And now I have the unit that I want. So now I'm just going to do the math. So for math purposes, all I have to do is take that 0.175 and divide it by 100.09 because it was a one to one ratio. But you have to do that just in case it's like a two to one. And then the math, you have to include those numbers. So in this case, I get 0.0, .0 zero, one, seven, we'll say one, seven, five. And that's moles of the CA two plus. So now we just found out this number, right? So I'm just going to say that this is 0 0.00175. And maybe, maybe I should put that into scientific notation. So I'll say this is 1.75 times 10 to the one, two, three. So negative third moles of Ca2 plus over one liter. And just like we said before, molarity, aka molar concentration, is moles over liter, mole over liter. So this divided by one is the same number. So technically, I can just say that this is 1.75 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity of Ca2+. Plus. And that's it. Or you could say mole over liter. Doesn't matter. It's the same number. The number is the most important part. But the units, you could say it in so many different ways. All right? But that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. And hopefully this is helping you out. All right? Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. So thank you if you're going to subscribe. But if not, that's okay too. All right, but hopefully you do. All right, it only takes one second. <laughs> um, thank you so much, and I'll see you. I'll see you all later. All right, have an awesome day. Bye bye.